Hello, I'm Sebastian Ernst. Um, I'm representing my architecture office, FACT, from Berlin. We are a collective of uh, four people and by the time now we grow to eight. We are a small architecture office, started four years ago. And we're doing projects in all kinds of scales, from furniture to um, architecture and also urban design projects. The title of our project is uh, called Urban Arcadia. And the term derives from this old philosophical idea of how architecture and nature and humans can interact. Because we feel that uh, historically this always has been a, a topic. There's Vitruv with a basic hut, like the minimal frame of architecture. Then there's Antoine Loger and the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. And we feel that this idea of nature and architecture becomes even more important now that we all live basically in metropical, like large scale cities. And this idea is nearly lost. And uh, we really want to focus back on that, how architecture become an object, not only, but really a framework for people to rediscover nature, rediscover natural phenomena. So it's not only about the building, but it's about what perception and what atmosphere is created. And also we want to talk about how that influences our work on different scales. Um, also, of course, how architecture even itself become kind of an artificial nature in a way and um, let people discover new ways of seeing space. We're teaching our own studio at Dessau Institute of Architecture and with the students we're looking uh, a lot of like suburban regions around Berlin because they have been neglected by architects, mostly built just by prefab houses. And we want to understand that because we feel that as young architects we have to also understand the drives of the majority of people and we have to be part of that discussion like what do people want from nature, why do they move out of the city, although it creates a lot of problems, a lot of transport, a lot of energy issues, what are they searching for and how can these forms of living maybe also be integrated in the city in a much denser form. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind when thinking about the future architecture platform is that for us it's a great chance because it's nearly interdisciplinary. There are all these people talking about publishing, about curating and we come from a practice, right? We, we earn money through architecture and for us it's very interesting to have that strong focus on how to curate your own work and how to bring also the, the real production of architecture to a theoretical level and formulate a narrative in our work and present it here.